this this is a thing you're trying to emulate someone who's in a completely different tax bracket from what you are welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're an oldie but goodie you already know what it is so for this video i wanted to talk about expenses especially for parents during the holiday time knowing that now the holiday season has officially begun it started already from like september but it's now november so that means we're almost in the december time i wanted to make this video for you these parents so we can get a bit of clarity on the expenses and how we don't have to make the holiday expensive to feel like that we're a good mom so the holidays don't they don't have to be expensive and i feel like because some of us as younger children like when we were younger we probably felt like we should have had more gifts or whatever the thing may be whatever it is that we were missing when we get older we try to give that our kid to our kids and one of the things that we'd give them is like a holiday like a christmas holiday right to make sure that the tree is full of presents and then it's why it's like without that you don't feel valued you don't feel like you're a good parent like you didn't work throughout the entire year and give them everything they needed for the year think about it throughout the entire year you mean you make sure you do their necessities you all they also have birthdays you make sure they get their birthdays they give you make sure they're okay if you feel like coming on to the christmas holiday you won't have a budget that would allow you to purchase multiple gifts or whatever it is i don't think you should allow that to make you feel bad depressed or less than as a parent because to be very honest a lot of our kids are so into christmas and so much gifts because of what we taught them and what and what they see online you know if it's whether it's social media or in cartoons or whatever it is and i feel like that's by design i feel like that's like a consumerism thing because to be very honest with you when i was younger i don't know if anybody else in the caribbean was like this or just overall throughout the world when i was younger and we had christmas we had a mini white christmas tree sometimes and gifts but it wasn't like we're having a full tree full of gifts it's like one and two gifts here and there and i can tell you i never felt left out I never felt like I needed to have 10 gifts under the tree. I never felt like I was lack off. I never felt like I had bad parents. I never felt like I was missing out on anything. And I feel like that has to do with, of course, my surroundings, because even my friends or people around me, they weren't someone who had like a bunch of gifts. And I feel like that with my generation of Jamaicans, kids, I feel like some of us will be able to relate to that. Now, you may have the few who lives in other part that probably got a lot of gifts or stuff like that. But even if we didn't get any gifts, like, <laughs> it just never i just didn't feel like i was missing anything <laughs> you know what i mean like i didn't feel like i was missing out on anything i remember going to a grand market yeah that was long ago years ago i remember going to grand market for the um i think it was like boxing day new year but whichever one it was and doing those events i remember the memory i remember getting a few gifts and to be honest my gifts were like one and two are uh, probably other family members probably give me gifts but <laughs> christmas for me was never i'm going to get a bunch of gifts i must get a bunch of gifts it's if i get it i get it if somebody give me they give me but with that said i never looked at that as a reason to be like oh i'm not valued right so that's because we never really put a lot of pressure on it with that said we're the reason why our kids put so much pressure on this holiday in return which pushing pressure on ourselves so technically we're putting pressure on ourselves because if we grow our children in a certain way to not expect multiple gifts during the holiday i'm pretty sure they won't they will ask questions about what they see on the tv and you can you know explain to them what it is or whatever but say hey we're not doing that much gifts and i feel like over time as you're training them training a child to be what you want them to be i just train them how you want them to be they will understand like hey we don't do a lot of gifts but we get one gifts here and there which will result in you having less pressure on yourself to fill up your tree with gifts i'm sure you give them things throughout the year think about it like i feel like kids nowadays like they have a lot of devices they have this they have computer tablets some of them even have phones they have so much things that you're telling me that christmas you you feel like you have to break your neck to get them something expensive again especially if you can't now if you're a parent who can afford these festivities and afford the holiday then perfectly fine but if you're a mom that can't afford the holiday and you feel like you have to work 80 hours a week just so you can put multiple gifts under your tree then to be very honest with you you're putting yourself in that stressing position where you're putting yourself in that stressing position where you can simply say you know what i I take care of my kids during the week i do enjoy christmas but i'm not going to do multiple gifts under my tree and to be honest it's so let's let's normalize having no gifts if you cannot afford it normalize having no gifts because remember if throughout the year i already tell mine like we're not going to do a bunch of gifts this year like we're going to have the tree probably going to set up the tree but i'm not going to do a bag of gifts 
and you know it's well, at a certain age you have to put this in them, them ears you have to continue to tell them hey remember we're not doing another gifts this year not another gifts and replace it with activities replace it with memories replace it with things that they can grow up tradition create your own traditions that they can pass on to their kids replace it with things that it might not be tangible but it's always be inside of them and i'm pretty sure they'll value that way more than a gift that they probably won't pay attention to after a few months so don't force yourself into this box instead into debt in order to try and and make your your kids feel good about having a lot of gifts and to be very honest when i think about it some people aren't even doing it some people think they're doing it to make their kids feel good about having a lot of gifts when in reality it's to make their younger selves feel better you know like aha i didn't get that much gifts on the tree but now my kids have that much gifts on the tree and now you keep breaking in it breaking in it to make sure they have a lot of gifts under the tree when that is a standard that you set that is a standard that you gave your children that is a standard that you held up so high that you're not able to meet every year and you're going to be the one who would have to bring that down a bit and bringing it down a bit does it mean that you're taking away from them bringing it down a bit does it mean that you're neglecting them bringing it down down a bit is protecting your peace of mind and making things within your reach and budget and making sure your children it is important that they understand what your reach and budget is but without being like hey you know this costs so much it's like hey this is what we're doing this year and they'll they'll appreciate that if you you know prepare them for it so you're forcing this expensive life this expensive expectation and you don't have to right and doing something like this can lead to a parent or any mother's depression because think about it you're forcing this expensive life you're expecting to have multiple gifts you're expensive to spend all this money and sometimes let's be honest you probably make it to the holiday and you can probably can't afford to do all of that which is completely fine you know it's okay to be like damn like i can't explore a an expensive Christmas and I feel like because all of us are so exposed to social media we think that we need to meet a certain standard of Christmas especially the bunch of gifts underneath the Christmas tree I don't think that's normal for everybody and it's okay if it's not normal like we can literally normalize not having 10 million gifts underneath your Christmas tree right because we're looking online and we're looking at influencers who have the budget and the money to put a bunch of gifts underneath their christmas tree and think that we need to mirror that we don't have to mirror that we some of us can't afford to mirror that some of us budgets don't fit that so why are we looking at social media right influencers looking at their christmas trees looking at everything underneath their christmas trees and saying oh i need to do that for my christmas as well my christmas needs to look like that like bet all right i need to fill up my christmas tree with a bunch of gifts just like that how are you going to have someone this this is a thing you're trying to emulate someone who's in a completely different tax bracket from what you are and that's where some of us mess up see some of us we see a lot of people online and want to do what they do and don't try to do what's in our tax bracket we're trying to do what's in their tax bracket and we need to have that reality check to let ourselves know that my tax bracket and their tax bracket is two complete different things so what they might be able to be afford and do with their with their tax bracket isn't something that my tax bracket needs to be doing right now and that's having a more realistic approach to it and kind of normalize that that's why i was saying earlier to normalize that's why i was saying earlier to normalize you know not having multiple gifts if you can't afford it let me say something else you can do that you can give your child no gift this year and you can have a live a happy life but you know where some of you mess up you might give them one gift or no gift and you take a picture of that tree with the uh, no gifts or the one gifts and you go ahead and post it you post it and you open yourself to criticism and now that criticism makes you feel bad and makes you feel less than as a mom because you opened yourself up to that criticism by posting that because i don't know what validation or what you wanted to show but yes we can be proud of our empty tree and our one gift but it's okay to be proud of our empty tree and our one gift in our private home because what we might be okay with and what is what's inside our home is not something that every Everyone else would be okay with two most of those people are also one gift and no gift holders but they will not tell you that online they will look at your tree they will rip it to shreds and they will judge you personally judge your character and then you as a parent or a mom will start to internalize that and feel like you did something wrong when in all reality you didn't do anything wrong you didn't go in debt to fill your tree with gifts for your kids so that means your mental health will be much better starting the new year that means your budget and your bills will be paid starting the new year if you decided to give them one gift you did 
did what you could do and you taught your children that not every year they'll have multiple things and it's okay to have one we don't have to over consume we don't have to have multiple gifts because to be very honest when i see a lot of tiktoks or a lot of videos and kids are having multiple gifts under their tree i think i think it was 2023 last year they were having multiple gifts under the tree some of the things that some of these younger kids are asking for aren't things that they're supposed to be asking for at that age they're asking for those things at that age because they're exposed to certain things online and that is where as parents we need to set we need to set some boundaries to what they're seeing online because they're seeing certain things online they're going to ask for it and you have to set that boundary if you can't block them from seeing certain things online then you're probably gonna have to say no you can't have that and okay so this is an unpopular opinion i might put this in my unpopular opinion video but i feel like your kids they're gonna have to feel left out sometime i like, don't know like there's certain things that me, me see people like get them children online and i'm just like you know more power to them and you could do what you want to do in your life with your kids but i'm like if my child came home and asked me for some of them something yeah no you're not getting them oh all the kids in my school have them great for all your kids you're not getting certain things and it's okay to tell them that but we're so scared of them feeling left out yes which which is a valid reason because of bullying but to be honest with you you know that when school started i saw a lot of kids buying up the fancy school bags and i'm like you're I believe at a certain age like eight nine i feel like them age day i feel like though that age there's certain things that you shouldn't be a part of like you're still a child you should be enjoying ch childlike things things and that's the reason why that preteen age is no longer exists because before they even reach a preteen age they want certain things that other people have in like higher grades and stuff like that and it shouldn't be like that so it's they're seeing certain stuff and wanting all these things you're gonna have to say no and tell them say yo you're not getting some of these stuff like who like no like i love you but choose one or two things and either you get the two things or you get the one things and then if you're someone who cannot give anything i feel i it is important to have that conversation before the holidays like growing up it wasn't like i don't know like i never grew up and think so many gifts and i need my christmas tree that see that goes back to normalizing stuff right because that is just normal like all right no chris no gift no underneath there be open yourself we got church vibe it just did normal and then not just church if i can remember the thing that what i mentioned earlier grandma the thing that we used to do that too you know we, we did have ways where we celebrated but we made a lot of memories so we need to maybe we need to start doing that again and let kids know say this is gonna happen i understand it's not the old times and we have to adjust according to the times right granted okay great adjust according to the times but why does adjusting according to the times have to include you going in debt you spending money what you don't have and you trying to fit a mold you know sit, fit this societal this societal mold of what christmas and gift giving should look like when you're not in that tax bracket we keep watching influencers that are in a way higher tax bracket than we are and yes we can watch them and have fun and be like oh that's cute but keeping at the back of your head we have two different tax brackets so the floss that they can floss isn't the floss that we can afford and that's okay that, that, that's completely okay so normalize that and i don't know if this is going to be in the same video or i'm going to make the next video about how this can go in depth about the depression work concerns holidays and moms